Now, the other route that I know, or I sort of suspect exists, haven't been there yet, is uh, one on, like, in this general direction. It looks like um, this is a pathway. So, uh, maybe two? One to the right and one through here? Which one should I go through first? Let's go into the depths, because I'm feeling courageous today. Let's see here. Is this an elevator or some sort of contraption? Seems to be. Examine. Contraption does not move. Um, hmm. It doesn't ask me for a Ferris Lockstone. I think that's how it used to work, right? Like, uh, it asks you for, for a Ferris Lockstone. Wait, it was a Lloyd's Lockstone that we got before, wasn't it? That's different. Let's see here. So, uh, what did uh, we get before? That's a soul vessel. Show this to a certain person and... What certain person is this? A vessel that will accept your souls. It can allow uh, reallocation of levels, but without proper assistance, it may simply drain your soul. Oh yeah, we've seen this before. If I had to guess, I would say, because it says that it's... Uh, if you truly wish to start again, go to the place where your journey began, then um, I would say that it had something to do with the three... Moira-looking characters at the beginning of the adventure. So, what else? A petrified something? That's the gift that I picked at the beginning. Ferris's lockstone. Activate Ferris's contraption. But I got other another lockstone before, didn't I? Yeah, there we go. Lloyd's talisman. It, it was not at all the uh, uh, what I said before. Blocks Estes recovery within limited area. Ah, I see. Okay, so that's for, this is for invading other worlds, I suppose. So. What do we have here? I'm feeling very neglected, game. You haven't thrown any sort of dickish moves at me this time. I mean, yet. I'm still exploring, so I hope that eventually dickish moves will be thrown around. You know. Ooh. Chest. Apparently chests in this game, or mimics in this game, are a little different. Crimson Parma. That's a shield. Okay, let's take a look at that. Equipment, shield, crimson parma. It's probably worse than what I have. Plus, I really like the look of my shield. Eventually, I'll probably trade it in for something a little heavier. Maybe a uh, sort of one of those um, what are they called? The uh, centurion type shields. The I'm, I'm just following the same path that I did in uh, Dark Souls One, character development wise. I mean, so hmm. is this another dead end? This is the dead-end episode, isn't it? Um, is there anything I can do? I think we not roll into you. Um, well, I guess... Activating this door, or this, uh... What is this called? Uh, this is called, a um, Sluice? Is that it? Those sort of, uh... Contraptions that, uh... Pull. Ah, there we go. See, this wasn't so bad. Alright, now this sluice opens. Usually this is uh, used to stop water from flooding certain areas in sewers and such. I'm, I'm using my ears. Because in Dark Souls you need to use all your senses to be able to come out on top. I see an item over there. I'm tempted to go get it, but oftentimes those are traps. Items that seem very easily gettable, if you will. So there's this path over there. A soul of a lost and dead, and a broken thief's sword. I'm happy with uh, what I have right now. Although, I don't feel like this weapon would be something that I'd like to use in the end game. It feels... decent for right now, but uh, not very powerful. You know? Maybe I'll, uh, I'll get something as an alternative. What do we have here? Read message. Try left and then up. So pull. And what exactly did this do? Oh, this opened the same sluice that we came through before. Okay, so this is just a, if we want to go back. I see, I see. Okay, all right. So now that there's only one path to victory, I feel confident in, uh, in proceeding. Good job. I could read these messages and, you know, be prepared for what's ahead, but I also could uh, be an asshole and not read them and uh, be surprised, because I like surprises, you know. Birthdays and such. Those are cool. Ooh. This looks... Hades Tower of Flame. Cool. 
Read message. Nice job. This is actually one of the areas that people told me to explore, although when they did, when I read the comment, I didn't know where to go, so... You know. <laughs> you could have told me to go to... anywhere, and I wouldn't have known, and... You seem hostile. I'm not sure. Something about your demeanor. Yeah, I... I'm not necessarily in the market for no for new friends. No, I'm sorry. Can we can we put some distance in between us? Hopefully, you seem a little too intimidating for me right now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's just a moment, please. Yeah. Okay, go back. Let's uh, let's have this conversation sometime later. Okay. Yeah. Do do that. Yes. All right. No. No. Okay, no, roll back. Put some... Yes, okay, there you go. Okay, good, good. I, I know how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna let him turn his back to me. Because he feels safe, you know? I'm gonna lure him into a false sense of uh, security. And then totally destroy him. Okay, so he has a lot of... Okay, roll... Okay, no. Okay, he has a lot of recovery. Something I can look forward to. Have some Estus. And, uh, I've almost whittled you down. See? This is how you uh, deal with larger foes. You apply some intellect into the equation, and I'm not close enough for uh, damage. There you go. See? Who's the dominant one? It's me, not you. Weakness. Germ in short, germ. What the fuck? What's a germ? Well, spelled like this. What's a germ spelled like this? Otherwise, everybody knows what germ is. It's, uh... It's everywhere. That's why you can't lick furniture or the floor. Because there's germs. Why you would want to do that, I don't know, but... You might. So what do we have here? Try ranged battle. I'm definitely not going to follow this advice, because I have no way to battle at range. Oh, but I understand why you're saying that now. Uh, how about we meet down here in this arena? like area. And then we can tango. All right. I'm not going to enjoy your company. Yeah, I can definitely see... Okay. How... We're not going to be friends. Okay. Go that way. Okay, no. Uh, all right. No. Yeah. We're not definitely going to be friends, because you... Okay. All right. I'll be back. God damn it, the bonfire is far away. God damn it, the night is back. Okay, well, I'm definitely gonna have to get past you so that I can get to my souls, and then we're gonna see what I do. Alright, okay. Okay. Hopefully, you will bow. Okay. <laughs> Never turn your back to your enemy, that's combat 101. I need to... Okay. I'm, okay, can I backstab you? No, I cannot. I can, though, get really close to you. There you go, see? Okay, so you have trouble when people get close to you, because you're big and clunky, I can get it. I can, uh, can make use of that. Let's try that strategy on your cousin over here. Okay, your cousin apparently relies on a different strategy, which is to completely destroy my nuts with his, uh, giant mace, or whatever that is. But let's try again, because, you know, trying strategies just once doesn't prove that they're wrong, it just proves that, uh, they didn't work that time. Okay, let's try- yes. Let's let you do that, and then attack you twice, and then- Okay. Okay. Now I need to recover some stamina here. Thank God that I upgraded my stamina a little bit. Okay. Let's try going around you a little bit until you lose your uh, your stamina. And then stabbing you. Like this. See? Alright. Maybe going around you through the left would be a better idea? There we go. That wasn't as hard as I made it out to be in the first time. Uh, sublime Bone Dust. Okay, um, someone mentioned that item. That is apparently something that you can burn at a bonfire. I'm not sure what that does, though. 
I have some notes, but they're not here with me right now. How did you die in this particular manner? What were you doing, really? Okay. Soul of a nameless soldier and a human effigy. That is welcome, because I've been... You know, I've been sort of scared that I'll die so much. Can I goad you into coming back with me into a more suitable location? You're holding your sword both-handed. Huh. And then we... Oh, no, you're not. Okay, you just had your shield in front of your face. You're just like your, your, uh, your twin brother over here. So let's, um, you know, change the venue here. Sometimes it's needed. Because uh, you got to keep things interesting. You, you're not going to follow me, are you? Of course you're not. That would be too easy. You're going to make me fight you in this tiny area where I can't really maneuver very well. Oh boy. There you go. Alright. These guys are not so bad. I mean, they look intimidating, obviously, because they're big and they're strong and they have... What is... Uh, okay. Who builds these things in video games? How was that even activated? How does the technology work? I mean, I defeated a soldier and then something came up. And unless someone was watching me from somewhere and suddenly activated this, I'm not seeing how this even works. And what does this do, anyways? Pull this down. Okay. And something is happening over there. Ah, okay, so I raised that platform. Okay. What does this say? Praise the sun. Praise the sun indeed. And this is a very nice looking locale, I have to say. Alright. So, let's uh, proceed onwards. Now there's two soldiers. I love how this game likes to... There's three soldiers. I'm, I'm getting scared because it's two soldiers eliminating one at a time. Okay. Yeah, that's, that was my plan. Defend me ahead. Okay, so I have a bow, right? I do. Do I need to equip arrows, or can I use just the bow simply like... No, no, how do you use the bow? Okay, there we go. Let's uh, try targeting one of you. Targeting one of you. Okay, that was almost good. Okay, no. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is no. This is something that I don't, I don't want to tackle. Right away. Um, let's move a little bit. Switch back to my primary weapons. And possibly deal with you. Uh, what is your range, by the way? Like, uh, not really how far you can reach with your sword. More like... Ooh, and you you are in the, indeed using a two-handed sword. That's new. Okay. That's what happens when you're going back and not looking. Okay, so I'm back, and I actually took a little break in between uh, the last time I died and now, because, well, it's because of the reason why I don't record as often. Well, the second main reason. The first one is because I'm not very good at managing my free time, but the second one is because I have a terrible upstairs neighbor. He is actually very noisy, and is not a generally... He's generally not a very nice person, so he's not someone that you can talk to and ask to, uh, you know, keep it down a little bit. For, for instance, a couple of weeks ago, and for about a month, the man was doing something indescribable above uh, my living room, where I usually record, and uh, if I had to try and uh, and describe it to you, I'd say he was trying to... Oh boy, can you can you follow me over here? It's, uh, wait, no, 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 not here. Here, inside. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, all right. Good, good job. Okay. Here... I have a little bit more footing, and I'm able to um, do this, give you the slip. So, basically, it sounded like the man was uh, trying to dig a hole into the next room using a spatula, and uh, was covering up the hole with a rock. So basically, he'd make a lot of rolling noises in the beginning, and then eventually... Well, okay, now you're both of you are coming. I don't like where this is headed. This is a party I am not ready to have yet. Our relationship hasn't reached that stage where we are uh, in need of uh, some experimenting with other couples. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh boy. Lord, 
Oh lordy lord. Okay, let's, let's do this slowly and uh, cautiously. Okay, yeah, one more. Okay, that didn't go at all as I had planned. Okay, um, I've defeated their brothers, and they've come to avenge them. So, uh, let me test something about the game's limits. How far are you willing to, uh, chase me? Is it forever? Or possibly not? I mean, there has to be some sort of limitation here, right? You're not gonna chase me back to Majula, I assume. Especially because you cannot operate the sluice gates. Are you still willing to come this far? Yes, you are. Let's try a little bit farther. There must be a limit to, uh... Ah, see? You're going back now. Cool. Now, I'm gonna try to, hopefully, goad one of you into staying. What am I doing? Um, how do I use these? There you go. See? Like this. Wow, it actually dealt... Ooh, okay. Now, it's not... Let's not get hasty here. That one actually dealt, uh, a little bit of damage. Acceptable damage. I have a found a new appreciation for ranged weapons. It's something that I'm not usually... Well, I wasn't looking to use in Dark Souls because, uh, I don't know. I was always left with the impression that they didn't deal a lot of damage. Maybe they would work if you put a lot of time into upgrading them. But, I don't know. There's a lot of misconceptions in my brain in regards to Dark Souls, and that's one of them. Okay, there we go. One at a time it seems to be the correct way to deal with this. It's a little slow, especially because uh, it takes me a long time to get back from Majula up to here. But uh, it seems to be the safest way, and right now I'm looking at safe because my HP is not at max, and that is dangerous, especially the brother with uh, the big-ass sword. Uh, what happened to the last one? Are you, is, is that it? Oh, yes, that's you. What's up, buddy? Yeah, that guy, with my health at the point that it's at right now, he could pretty much one-shot me. Definitely two-shot me. There you go. Alright, now... I like to sort of, uh, dodge them to their right. That was maybe a mistake. It was not a mistake. At least I didn't get punished for it. And now you're gonna get punished by me for your mistake. There we go. Okay. An old knight greatsword. Something activated, I could hear it. I'm still very much in the market to understand how these contraptions work. How can you tell when the knights have been defeated? I mean, the knights are biological things. They're knights, right? They're not really enemies, and, uh... Well, they are enemies. I mean, they're not robots, is what I meant to say. Um, what am I looking at right now? There's uh, two of them. And one of me. Um, okay. Let's use the same strategy as before. Because it's apparently worked. See? Well, only one is coming. Especially the the one with the, the, the big-ass great sword. That's the one that's more forthcoming. He's more friendly. He's friendlier than, than the average giant soldier. Okay, so he has this three-attack combo. I stabbed him once. Then he has another normal just single-attack thingy. And he has this, uh, swipe type of attack. That one's dangerous. But, uh, if you dodge opposite of his, yeah, like this, this, this way, then, uh, you'll get a few openings. Plus, if you defend, there is not a lot to, to fear. You just, uh, gotta be mindful that he has a three-hit combo with his, uh, sword. Like this one. This one right here. Which is, uh, yeah, it, it left me with, uh, very little, um, endurance, so I'm backing off for a little bit. Seemed like the smartest choice at the time. He's almost dead, but I'm, I'm really scared right now, see? Two, do the third one. Three, and now maybe I can kill you? There we go, see? But this guy really scares me because he deals a lot of damage. 